So those of you with an eagle eye will note a few changes. Got a different hat on and uh, I've taken off my hoodie. Probably the biggest thing you'll note is that I'm not at home anymore next to the shop. I am out in the hills. Uh, we decided that we'd take off a little bit earlier and uh, head out on this little quick trip. See if we can find what we're looking for. And then when I get back, I will go ahead and finish up the project I was working on. So we're gonna head through the trees here a little bit and then we should come across. There is a surface site out here and then an Anasazi ruin and maybe even a second Anasazi ruin. We'll see. that what I would call a surface site and basically um, what I call surface site is is a site of ruins where there was a community buildings um, structures here that uh, the walls and stuff aren't standing anymore but you can still kind of see the foundation lots of evidence all the way around um, as you walk around through here you're gonna see pieces of pottery all over um, you're gonna see the stones that they built their, um, so yeah, you can see all these pieces that have been kind of picked up and gathered that people have left behind, which is the right thing to do, uh, to leave them here. And, uh, but you get up here and you can, this one, if I remember right, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see where walls might have been. Um, I, I'm not an archaeologist, so, I can't tell you if the trees were here or what the what the landscape looked like at that time. But you can just see the remnants of a little community that was up in here, which is really, you know, kind of cool. And uh, makes me wonder what the connection is between this site and the ruin that we're going to. Okay, so here's a good, like you can see a dugout here, right? Some sort of, you would have had the walls around and then a pit here, kind of another one over there. Um, you can kind of see some stacked walls somewhat through here, pit there, you know, all through these trees. Just really cool to kind of imagine what, what this community might have been. If maybe this even wasn't a community, maybe this was just a storage area where they, they stored, you know, grain and food and, um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not an archaeologist, but... Really neat to imagine, to see the remnants and, and be able to kind of wander around and, and get kind of a picture of what this could have looked like and how big it was and and uh, stuff like that. So we're going to wander around here for a minute, just look, refresh our memories of what all this looks like, and then we'll probably head on to the next ruin.
So this is a really good sampling here of different types of pottery you might find. You've got kind of this stuff that's just kind of, well, I guess that does have a little bit of a texture on it. And then some painted ones, some different designs. Really cool to see. And, and what I heard uh, visiting with one of the old timers and someone that's done a lot of research and looking and stuff like that is he said that the plain, plain type pots, um, I don't know if I'll be able to find one. A lot of these have designs on them. Um, but like this one, okay, here's a good sample. So that's kind of plain inside and out. He said those were used for like cooking and, you know, warming up water and, and that type of stuff, collecting, things like that, that weren't like, like your pots, your pots and pans. And then stuff with texture and, and colors and things like that were kind of more your decorative, like actually used as like vessels to eat and drink out of and, and stuff like that. So really cool um, to, to think about it that way that, you know, some of these were plates and cups and, and other types of vessels. Some of these were pots for cooking. Um, based on the coloring in them, you can decide like which area they're from. So which area down here has different colors and pigments that they would use uh, for, the, for the different types of pottery and vessels and stuff like that. So really cool <laughs> to see such a big sampling of, of this pottery out here and, and uh, to think of, you know, what they might be. Oh, here's a stink bug. Here's one of our Southern Utah natives. See that guy there? These guys are harmless, other than they do stink. So you can see him cruising around. So if he gets aggravated, what he'll do is he'll stick his butt up in the air and, uh, and put out a pretty good stench. Um, but these guys are everywhere, and it's, it's kind of fun to see them again. Anyways, kind of cool to see them again now that it's warmed up and bugs and stuff are getting out. I've, I've seen some posts about snakes. Oh, the people are starting to see snakes out and about and stuff like that. So, okay, we're going to carry on to our next spot. Okay, here we are. We have arrived. And uh, if you look around, you're not going to see it. Just a ridge. And that's because we're actually standing on top of it. So we've got to go down and around and, uh, and then we'll check it out. Look at this. Isn't that the coolest thing? Uh -huh. 